Hey guys, how are you today? I am coming to you today, 22 weeks pregnant. Um, I'm so excited to be sharing this update with you. Our life has been absolutely wild the last three weeks. We actually sold our house. We moved into a little RV on my grandparents' property and we are currently in the process of buying another property so we can build a house on it. Um, so it's just been wild. Um, for us and crazy and my cameras are all in like a storage unit and everything so I'm filming this on my iPhone so it's a little crazy the quality but I really wanted to get a video out to you guys because I've been getting messages and, and questions as to why I'm not posting videos so um yes I'm 22 weeks as of yesterday um with baby girl and I'm feeling good um I haven't weighed myself so I have no idea what I weigh I feel like I'm looking at this video and I'm like feeling like I've gained weight in my face um which I gain weight um in my face like when I'm pregnant like that poofy you know water like your nose and your face gets bigger um so I feel like that's happening I can see it here in like this viewfinder but um yeah, I don't exactly know how much I weigh, but all my clothes still fit, like, fine. Not my regular clothes. Those stopped fitting weeks ago. But my maternity clothes all fit really well, whereas towards the end of my pregnancy and the bigger I get, the <laughs> tighter they get. So I feel good. Um, I am still having, like, hip and pelvic pain a little bit when I walk, just from that stretching and... Um, and the relaxin in my joints is just kind of, you know, it just makes you expand so you can get that baby out. Um, and so I am having some some of that kind of pain, but um, one of my friends gave me some lecithin, and I went and bought some from um, the little health food store here. And that is helping significantly um, with the pain of, like, my pubic bone just wanting to rip apart. <laughs> so that is helping, which is awesome. Um, so last week, so I'm 22 weeks as of yesterday, today is Wednesday, um, last week is when I popped, like my stomach popped, I definitely look pregnant now, um, and you can't, I can't hide it, I look pregnant, definitely, my tummy looks pregnant, I will show you guys right now what I look like, can you see, can you see this little bump, like it is there, look at all that, is that crazy, it's unbelievable, of course I have a striped shirt on, it's like, always bigger with a striped shirt but um yeah so um I definitely popped last week and so I'm feeling like pregnant you know that like just you know like mamas you know once you like popped that you are pregnant so that's exciting um cravings I really haven't had many cravings lately I feel like I'm maybe craving more sugar than I did with my last pregnancy my two sons um I don't feel like I crave sugar as much as I do this last pregnancy as I do this pregnancy. So, like, every night I want, like, ice cream or pie or, like, something just sweet after I have a salty meal. So, um, but I am really trying to cut down on my sugar intake for me and for my family, my, um, my boys as well. Because I just feel like right now in our lives, like, since we're living in this little RV, this is my little camper bedroom, um, since we're living in this RV, I just feel like I'm going more towards convenient foods, convenience foods for me and my family, and so I'm really trying to, like, bring it back and start making healthier meals for us. So, my sugar cravings hopefully will cut down a little bit. Um, and then, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I don't exactly know what my weight gain is this week. So, um, I'll be going to the doctor or the midwife in like two weeks and I'll be able to know my weight. I don't have a scale and I don't feel the need to have a scale. And so, you know, I just go there to the, um, the midwife's office and weigh myself. So, um, and another thing is baby's very active, um, especially at night and through the night. Last night at 4 a.m., like on the dot, baby girl did a crazy flip in my stomach. It was just like unbelievable. It woke me up out of my dead sleep. And, um, yeah, so she's extremely active. Um, a lot of kicks. I'm getting them really down low this time. Whereas my last pregnancies, I had a lot of up, upper kicks, like up in my ribs. So far, all I'm feeling is like really down low, like so low. Um, so I don't know, but my um, placenta is on the top of my uterus, which I mentioned in my last video. And so I think that's why I'm getting all these different sensations and different feelings. Because my placenta was um, 
in a different location for both of my boys. And then for this little girl, it's at the top. So I'm really getting a lot of uh, movement down below. Um, I have yet to buy a little, to buy a little girl outfit. <laughs> I have not bought one thing. I did go to a couple stores, but there's nothing like super cute. Although like Etsy, you know how they put those, um, like ads on the side of your Facebook page and stuff. Like I get those every single day, like little girl moccasins and little girl outfits that are so adorable, but I haven't really pulled the plug on buying those yet. So, um, we're kind of like in this transition period, like I said, so I don't even have a place to store it, but, um, I am excited to start buying little girl clothes and I bet I will start doing that like week 25, I bet, because I feel like that's when I started really like prepping for baby with my boys. Um, a question that I've been getting from a lot of my girlfriends is, um, is this baby going to have a name that starts with an M? And yes, the baby is going to have a name that starts with an M. Um, so we have Moses, my three-year-old, Maverick, my one-year-old, and this little baby M, um, will have an M name as well. And so we'll be sharing that in a couple weeks. So, um, we've told like some family and friends and stuff, but it's a really beautiful little name that we've loved forever. Um, and it's actually kind of popular right now. So, um... Yeah, so I'm sure a lot of people will be naming their little girls this name this year, but um, but we love it, and it has a strong meaning for us, and so, um, yeah, so we're excited, so I'll, <laughs> I'm excited to share that with you guys when it's time. Um, the other thing um, that I was going to say, let's see, I wrote down on my little list, but my little list, I can't, it's like when you write down a list and then you can't really read your writing, um, but yeah, but I feel, um, I feel pretty good. I still like, I was talking with a girlfriend last night, um, uh, my best friend and I went and met up last night for tea and I told her it's like, I'm probably just so busy right now and all of our transition and moving and everything that I'm not like, I almost forget that I'm pregnant sometimes. Like I'm just chasing my kids and surviving and like running around and trying to like take naps and stuff like that, that I almost don't really feel pregnant. And I don't know if that's like, it's cause it's my third baby and like with your third baby, <laughs> like your first baby, you're just so like obsessed with that bump, um, in the baby. And like, I'm so excited for her, but at the same time, it's like, it hasn't quite hit me yet that like, we're going to have a baby in May this year. Cause it's 2017. We're going to have a baby in May or June, whatever, whenever baby comes. But, um, yeah, but I'm really excited. Um, for her to get here and to be able to spoil her and she's gonna be so loved she already is so loved by everybody all my girlfriends have so like I haven't bought any clothes for her but my girlfriends have bought some clothes for her I just got a text message today one of my girlfriends went to a thrift store in her town and it's the cutest clothes for her it's unbelievable like I just I cannot wait to put her in those clothes um so yeah so we're really excited about that Hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll know if we get to build the house on the property that we want to build the house on um, and we'll know more about where we're going to live because right now we're doing the tiny home life, man. We're living in an RV with our kids on my grandparents' property and it's kind of rough right now. We're roughing it, especially since we just had like a crazy snow ice storm here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, that was just brutal. <laughs> it was so brutal. Um, walking outside was difficult. It was like so slippery. It was just an ice, like an ice skating rink. Um, and so, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to like getting more of a norm and figuring out where we're going to live. That will be so exciting to be able to know where we're going to bring baby girl home to. Um, so yeah, and then I have another midwife meeting or midwife appointment in two weeks. So I'll know more. You know, I'll be able to listen to baby's heartbeat and everything like that. So hopefully I'll be updating you guys then when I have that appointment. But um, yeah, so I, this was super quick and super like <laughs> laid back post. But I really wanted to get it out there that I'm 22 weeks pregnant. Baby girl is doing amazing. Oh, the other thing. Oh my goodness. So the day after Christmas, I went to the hospital in the middle of the night. Um, and I got diagnosed with the flu, influenza, and I think I posted in my last video that I did not get the flu shot. I do not get flu shots when I'm pregnant, and even getting the flu, um, this year, which sucked royally, like, I just felt like I was gonna die, it was horrible, I got influenza A, um, is what I was tested for, and what I got, and what I suffered through, and I gave it to my whole family, too. Um, but I still will not get the influenza shot, um, if I get pregnant again. I do not do, um, vaccinations while I'm pregnant because I just don't. So, um, 
yeah, I use my essential oils and um, hydration and I really just listened to my body and I was really careful. I told the ER doctor um, that I just, I will come in for fluids if I need fluids. Like I will be very careful and listen to my body, but um, the flu is brutal this year. And the doctor even told me that a lot of people who have the flu this year got the flu shot. So I just think the flu shots, you know, it's like one of those like hit or miss type things. Um, so yeah, I did not get the flu shot. I did get the flu. I do not feel it's because I didn't get the flu shot. Um, because a lot of people, my husband got the flu shot because he's an ICU nurse and he's required to. And he got the flu. So what do you say? I don't know. What? I don't know. What do you believe? Um... So, yeah, so basically, I got hit with the flu. That was crazy. I was so sick. It was like a... I could not even climb stairs. Like, I could not climb the stairs. I could not eat. I could not do anything. I made sure to, like, force myself to drink tons of water um, to stay hydrated. And I listened um, to my body, and I felt for those baby kicks all the time. And I counted them, and I prayed over my little girl, and we are healthy, and we are happy. So, um... It was brutal, but that, and that was something that hit me and took me down. I mean, it was like, I started getting sick, and then I just was like, I plummeted. And, um, it went to my lungs, and so I had trouble breathing, which is why I ended up in the hospital. Um, because I could not breathe, and my inhaler was expired, 2014. So, if you have asthma, maybe you should have a inhaler that is within the date range that it should be in. So, I got a new inhaler, which made a world of difference, and, um... And yeah, I got checked out, but we did get the flu. My little boys got it as well. So it was, it was a really rough, like the last three weeks have been, have been a very challenging three weeks. The Lord is obviously teaching us something or trying to teach us something. So, um, yeah, but anyways, we're healthy now. Thank goodness. I still wouldn't get the flu shot. <laughs> I, I just don't do that. So I wouldn't get the flu shot. I did get the flu. It was such a bummer, but we're all healthy and we're all happy and praise God for that. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys are doing so well and thank you for tuning in and watching these videos. I'm really excited to be doing these, um, this pregnancy because I can look back and remember what my pregnancy was like and I'm not really like a physical journaler and so just to be able to do this and just get my words out there is, um, is awesome for me. So yeah, so bye. I will see you next time and I hope you have a great rest of your day.